Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what's going to happen um, or what you can expect to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours. It is going to be a general reading guys, please keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. So let's go ahead and take a look. First and foremost, you've got a connecting energy around you that is acting a little bit cold or distant or will seem very cold, very emotionally detached, very distant. Um, it is true that this person is keeping something from you. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, you know, they're emitting this cold air, this cold energy towards you. You're picking up on those vibes. You're picking up on that vibration. You're responding to it. So you might be a little bit distant yourself because, you know, you're only picking up on that energy. Um, you might also be like not as communicative or you might also not be like your usual um, happy chirpy talkative self um, this may have been going on for a while and will continue to happen into the next 24 48 hours or this is just something that your person will just you know suddenly act very cold very weird very distant it does feel like they're keeping you in the dark about something and they are okay they are being they are being cold and distant. They are acting weird. Even if you if you, even if you tell them you know what's wrong, they're like nah, nothing, nothing. I'm fine. They're not. They're not. They're acting weird, and you know what? Um, that's that's the bad news. Okay. Um, the good news is they do care. Okay, which is why they're acting weird. Which is why they're acting funny and why they're acting strange. Okay, because they care. They're bothered by something. Um, and I think you know what it is. But this person does care. This person is invested. Okay, and I can see that maybe. At one point, the two of you were really strongly committed or very strongly attached to each other. Um, you know, you might be going through something. There may be some sort of disconnection, but that person still feels a very strong attachment to you. But they are coming up as, you know, um, this emperor energy where, you know, the emperor, he doesn't, he's not very mushy. He doesn't show a lot of attention. Um, he doesn't show a lot of affection. So he likes to come across a certain way. And I think this is what's going on with the person that you're dealing with. Okay, they come, They're coming across a certain way, like as if they're not bothered when really they are. Okay, or as if, you know, they're fine, they're doing fine, but really they're not. Okay, or they're just, they're keeping something from you and they don't want to seem that way, but you're pretty switched on. You're picking up on this. Okay, um, I'm also seeing something is being gifted to you. You might receive something. It could be a parcel. It could be a package. You might have ordered something from Amazon, but something here is arriving to you. Um, this is valuable. Okay, so be careful. For some of you, be careful that you don't misplace it. Be careful that someone else doesn't end up picking up your parcel, your package. For others, it is, you know, it could be this person that's gifting something to you. Something small, but it is something that holds its weight in gold, okay? So this is like, could be a gift that you might be receiving, and it could be something that you will, um, you will treasure, okay? Um, I also feel like your moods, I see your moods kind of fluctuating over the next, you know, few days. I feel like for some of you, and I don't know if it's because you're kind of picking up on the people that you're connected to, the people around you, if you're picking up on their energy, um, and if I don't know, everyone's just acting a little bit strange around you. But I see like your your moods like shifting, your moods shifting quite a bit here. Okay, so you're going from like confused to frustrated to to happy to joyous to stressed out to joyous again. It's just it's a little bit yeah you you're. you're Bit of an emotional roller coaster these next few days. Um, you will receive some sort of invitation, okay, and do not pass this up because I think this is something that is, you know, you're gonna have a good time. You might potentially meet new people, you might potentially meet a new romantic energy, you might meet you might connect and meet with a new friend. Um, I just feel like, especially with the three of cups energy, this is you know. You're feeling good here, so if someone does invite, if, the, if someone does invite you out somewhere, if it's a date, okay, someone could be planning a date, someone could be, you know, trying to take you out, and it's totally a date, but maybe they don't want to admit to it. For others, you might make plans, you know, with a group of guy or girlfriends, um, or you could be trying to, you know, hit hit up someplace do and then you'll end up meeting someone i just see yourself there's something that's coming up for you here and i think it could be like in two to three days time um and I, I see you having a really good time okay so if you get an invite don't turn it down okay don't stay home instead 
go out because at the very least you'll have yourself a good time there's good food there's good drinks and even better company okay so don't you know don't say no and it might even surprise you there might not be like your usual or he or she might not be your usual type or these might not be your usual type of people that you like to associate with but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised these people have good energy they've got good vibrations they've got great intentions for you so don't say no or do but you'll miss out up to you um, there is something here that I feel like for some of you I don't know if you're getting some troubled sleep and as a result maybe that's what's you know adding to this mood irritation for others there is something on your mind here guys what is going on there's something here that you haven't been able to escape and it feels like this this feels like a prison of sorts this feels like you can't stop thinking about it you can't stop thinking about someone you can't stop thinking about what was said or what wasn't said you can't stop thinking about what you did or what you didn't do you can't stop thinking about what happened why it happened how it happened why it didn't happen in any other way it's just this and you know what it's you're sending yourself crazy and you're an air sign right you're ruled by mental energy so we all know you guys like to think and you like to do a lot of thinking and a lot of overthinking and you like to analyze and a lot of over analyzing and you like to drive yourself crazy so whatever it is i do see this is keeping you up at night and i see this is really weighing heavily on you okay so if you can you need to because the thing is for some of you i'll tell you why it's worse because you're trying to you're being really hard on yourself and you're like no i don't want to think about this or you know i don't want to think about this person or i don't want to think about this situation or i don't want to think about that that text message or about that drama or about that incident that happened or this you know or that and the more that you resist it the more that it persists i'm so i'm sure you're all familiar with the saying you know um what's the way what's the saying resistance Resistance breeds persistence, leads to persistence, something like that. Um, so the more you resist it, the more and the stronger that thought or the urge to think it is persisting. Okay, so you have to acknowledge your thoughts. You can't deny them. Okay, you can't dismiss them. You can't deny them. You have to acknowledge your thoughts. But then you have to try and redirect your thoughts. Okay, but there's something here. And I feel like this is, to me, it feels like this energy is worse at night. So... I don't know if it is keeping you up at night. I don't know if, you know, you're alone with your thoughts at night. You do most of the thinking then. Um, I don't know if, you know, you might have, you might be an insomniac. You might have trouble sleeping. You might be a night owl. I don't know why, but it does feel like, you know, it is a heavy energy. I can feel it in the energy here. And it does feel like it's, it's mainly at night. I think it's also contributing to your lack of sleep or even your poor sleep. So you need to stop... The thing is, you need to stop stressing because whatever it is, it is going to work itself out. And you know, whatever happened, happened. Okay? If it could have happened any other way, it would have happened any other way, right? So you need to let it go. Okay? Um, you need to accept it. Acceptance is so big here. So, you know, accepting something doesn't mean that it's okay. You know, if someone hurt you and you're accepting it, it doesn't mean you're saying, hey, it's okay, you hurt me, it's okay to go around hurting me. That's not what you're saying. Acceptance, it's, for, you know, it's forgiving. It's accepting that it happened, trying to heal us so that you can move on from it, right? Um, it's not easy to do, but if you can try and, you know, put yourself on the path to accepting it and making peace with whatever has happened, because whatever it is here, it's, I feel it very strongly in your energy and notice the repetition of the sorts it's like you can't stop thinking about it you can't get it out of your head and you're driving yourself crazy and you're kind of driving me crazy here too no I'm kidding but you know whatever it is it's going to get better okay and I think some of you the more you focus on you know the you know why it happened or how it happened the more that this energy the more you give it energy to it right the more you feed it and the more it grows the more it amplifies I feel like the worse it looks as well so if you can try work on that, trust me, I think um, you'll see you'll see results show up quite quickly. If you can slowly start working on, you know, accepting it, releasing it, letting it go, so that you can move on from this very thing. Because it's an energy, it's a heavy energy, and it's weighing you down. And it's not only is it mentally exhausting, it's like physically exhausting and it's emotionally exhausting there is a wonderful reunion that i see happening for you in i know that was such a quick transition there's a wonderful reunion that i see happening for you air signs in a matter of like 24 to 48 maybe even like in the next i don't know three to four days okay time is fluid it's non-linear it's a social construct it can be a little bit tricky to pin down but this is something beautiful and maybe this is the reason why you're stressing maybe you're trying to you know 
catch up with someone, reconnect with someone, maybe you've been missing someone, I don't know, but this is why I'm telling you don't stress because it's all going to work out in the end, even better than you imagined, okay? So let go of some of these imagined demons. Four of Wands, beautiful reconnection, a beautiful reunion. Someone who I feel like you're close with, but much like the Four of Wands, the both of you are like a set of parallel lines running side by side. But finally, with this Four of Wands energy, you'll have the um, opportunity to meet, okay? To meet um, alongside each other. And let me tell you, you haven't felt, you and this person that you're reconnecting with haven't smiled this much in a long time. This person feels like home, okay? So even if it's been, you could be embracing someone who is coming back home, you could be coming back home to someone or something, or you could be reconnecting with someone who feels like home, okay? A very strong energy of home, a very strong energy of belonging. So you and this person have been missing each other, whether it's a romantic energy, a sibling, a friend, um, just a connecting energy, okay? It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, but it's you and this person are like home to each other. Um, and this is some very good vibrations. This is some very good vibes. This is some very um, great positive energy. And it's just this feeling of home. It's just this feeling of belonging. It's like, you know, even if this person was at a distance from you, it's like that closeness never really, you know, went away. Um, so a beautiful reunion, what will turn out to be like a beautiful day or a beautiful night, okay? Um, it's just, it's a beautiful time and I see you really being in the moment and embracing that moment. And it's, I think it's something that you've been wanting for a long time and it's something I feel like your connecting energy has been wanting for a long time as well. Okay guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel if you haven't already by subscribing. It does help guys, so if you can hit that subscribe button um, also by uh, sharing or commenting thanks guys